Hello everyone, um, this week we're against Electric. It is week six, I believe. Um, but yeah, now let me check their team name real quick. I like doing that. Um, the Bug Buzz City. Mm -mm. So we've got a bit of a comeback to make here. <laughs> I'm currently one in four. I don't remember exactly what the order was. Well, there's been a lot of losses. Let's just say that. There's been a good couple losses here and there. I think it may have actually just been a four loss streak right now. So that's fun, but you know. It can only get better, right? <laughs> right? Please? Surely it will get better now. Alright, but yeah, the point is we're up against Electric. They're currently number two on the leaderboard. Um, it's by a differential, but it's fine. It's still number two. Number two is number two. So they're a bit of a threat, <laughs> and it's pretty easy to see why when you're looking at their team. I mean, they've got stuff like just that terrifying snow core of Ninetales Iron Bundle, um, with Chi Yu as well, which is just an absolute monster under Veil. Um, we got stuff like Clefable Como core, like that's really scary to fight against, and I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think it's gonna work, <laughs> it's fine, yeah. But yeah, um, we're going to see what happens. Let's, we're about to get into it here. Um, I've got a couple things that kind of counter the strat. Uh, mostly um, Vulpix. Having a weather setting ability is like actually perfect right now. And I think the counterplay might be to not switch in Vulpix. I, I feel like I game one especially, I'm probably just going to do it, but... I think when it gets down to it, I'm probably not going to be switching in Vulpix on a turn where it's like, Night is out, they're going to click Aurora Veil. It's like really obvious play. It's kind of insane how much Vulpix actually shuts down the Iron Bundle Night Tales core. Just by itself. I mean, obviously with my mods on the side, it definitely helps, but just that alone, it lowers the damage of Hydro Pump from Iron Bundle, it makes Blizzard not 100% accurate, and it, and it prevents them from setting up Aurora Veil. Um, just that stuff in general is like insanely good, just to have that. And it also gets Snarl and Encore, which I can Encore them into Aurora Veil theoretically. Big, big theory there, it's probably not. No, actually now I'm thinking about it, that will never happen, now that I've said it out loud. No, I was just thinking out loud there, of what I could Encore them into. <laughs> that is not a good example. Um, Clefable especially is probably the best one with Follow Me, I think they're going to be clicking that a lot. Um, worst case, we lock them into Calm Mind or Crescent Power and we just kind of chip away at them forever. Um, it's going to be a little awkward if it comes down to that, but I do have stuff like Haze Talk Specs right now. So that should help out a little bit. I'm also running um, Wide Guard Talk Specs because I want to not get swept over by the like million spread moves they have. Um, I can just go down the list. Iron Bundle has Blizzard, Ninetales has Blizzard, Goldengo has Make It Rain, Komo has Boom Burst and Clanging Scales. Clayable is Dazzling Gleam. It wouldn't really run that, but just theoretically. Um, Staraptor, Trevenant, don't really have anything. Um, Orcorio, Pom Pom doesn't have Discharge, I know that. But that's fine. Um, yeah, Mega I don't think has anything, but that's, yeah, whatever. And then Chi was Heat Wave, so yeah, like most of the main relevant mods on their team have spread moves, so yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes, really. I, that's really all I can say about it. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. <laughs> if I don't win, I'm gonna make it fun. That's what I'm gonna go for, I think. <laughs> Though obviously, I don't mind winning. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this team is running Terra Steel because I'm running Sludge Wave on Iron Moth. And that isn't insane into their team or anything, but honestly it covers a lot of their mods and I think it'll do pretty well. Um, I'm specifically not running Heat Wave because I was just, I really was scared of, like, Fable. I don't know, man. I, I, I didn't feel right about Heat Wave after last week. Even, <laughs> even if it was going to work out fine, I just, I'm not running Heat Wave again, I don't think. <laughs> Double Miss is absurd, and I just can't really deal with that right now. <laughs> yeah, now I'm thinking about it, as far as I'm concerned... Um, well, you know, there's not really a good guarantee, because that was only game two that I got lucked out, so... 
Now, I'm not gonna make any claims like, oh, I would have won that if I had just not gotten lucked out. Not really. I at least would have brought it to game three last week, so. Um, last week in particular was against Jordan, and uh, it didn't work out, let's just say. <laughs> yeah, that's ignoring the part where if Heat Wave even hit, there's no guarantee it would have killed, but I mean, decent chances, I'm pretty sure. But it, it's not too big a deal. We're past that. I'm not worried about it too much. But yeah, we're getting into it right now. And uh, good luck. La, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm slurring my spe speech a lot lately. <laughs> Mm, my video froze too, that's fun. I like when that happens. Really convenient. And doesn't interfere with anything I'm doing ever. <laughs> this is already going great, I just gotta say it. <laughs> I should just have, to have this back up in just a second. I was gonna say, I couldn't hear anything. That's what was bothering me. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Uh, we've got the team ready, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 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 yep. yep. all right, cool. Uh, I'm running Cobra Cloak on an Amorous because I don't want to get speed dropped. Can I fool myself? What am I thinking here? Oh, I think it was supposed to freak out. Um, there was a reason. There was another reason for that, but I'm, I think I'm misremembering now. It's okay. This is mostly what I was expecting. The biggest surprise is the no Chiyu, but honestly the matchup isn't really that good, so it's not that surprising, but... Um, alright, let's see what we got here. We're not gonna lead Sun. Well, we can kind of lead Sun, so it's just not exactly what I'm saying. Um, I want to run a Namorous because I don't want to auto-lose to, um, Pomo. Uh, the cool thing about that is I can actually force a Terra out, which is pretty good. Because if they don't Terra steal or at least like poison or something like that, they, they're going to get hit pretty hard. Um, Hexpex does okay, but I think I'm going to run Skewed in the back game one. Yeah, game one especially, I'm going to run Skewed in the back, alright. Skewed is in kind of a weird place because it gets um, nerfed a little bit by Drought. But it does that speed everything. <laughs> yeah, and they don't really have tail. They do have tailwind, but they're not. I wouldn't think tailwind is coming from the star after slot. If it is, we're gonna find out, I suppose. So let's just see what happens. I'm just gonna try enunciating really hard right now. <laughs> because I am tripping over every single word I say, and it's bothering me. So I'm just going to try to enunciate really hard. <laughs> and it's almost certainly going to mess with my play, but it's all right. See, I just started doing it again. It's really funny. Iron Bundle and Ingatop. Interesting. Okay. It's not too bad. I am running Cobra Cloak, so that's pretty good, actually, to be honest. Um, with Strategy, I'm assuming it's speed. Can't really confirm that, but makes sense to me. I, I looked at it and I didn't see it. <laughs> I looked right at it and I did not see what the thing was. So I think we just double protect here and see what they go for. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they switch in, go for Aurora Veil. Um, that would be bad, I'm not gonna lie. If they go for Aurora Veil with Iron Bundle, I... To be honest, I'm not 100% sure if they get it. <laughs> I think they do though. They do get it, I thought so. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I wasn't unaware to that, at least. <laughs> I think my next turn, if they don't, yeah, they don't switch, so that's fine. I think my next turn is probably going to be something like Terra, even. I might just Terra right now and see what happens. Because I might just freak out. They're gonna freak out. Could have guessed, I'll be honest. <laughs> So I'll be honest, this thing's going to be kind of tough to take down the Tinkatuff here. It's not like that bulky, but especially it takes some hits pretty well. Um, that was a blizzard it looks like. I honestly didn't see it. <laughs> Funnily enough, I kind of missed that. But honestly, let's just go for this and see what happens, eh? 
We can go into Vulpix pretty safely here, unless they hedge pump directly into an Amaris, which they're, I can assume they're not going to do, I'll be honest. That's pretty risky. Um, but I probably didn't need the Terra now I'm thinking about it. Um, because we're going to be at speeding, it could be Focus at. No, it's Booster. I'm, I'm sorry, it's Booster. So this is a misplay on my part. I didn't have the Terra there at all. Um, I guess we take the potential fairy move better from Dinkatuff, though. It's not very offensive anyways. Um, we'll see what happens here, really. Because we have Fake Out, we know Blizzard. What are they going for now? <laughs> That's the question. I'm assuming they have Protect on Bundle. It's not like that crazy of a read, considering it's Booster. Yeah, if it was like Scarf or something crazy like that, I could see no Protect. I mean, that would make sense at least. Oh, I am so bad at keeping up with the Annunciation. I do it all the time. I just pick back up speed-wise <laughs> with how I'm talking. Your protect, okay, that's not bad. I at least we know about the Protect now, which is good. So now they know I'm Terra Steel, they know I'm probably Colorful, realistically. Unless I'm like Leaf Guard, which I'm pretty sure their other ability is. Um, that sucks, okay, huh. That's an interesting spot, because we know we still... We're not at speed, but we're not at risk, really, going for the Iron Bundle here. What's the switch in? What's the switch in for Iron Bundle right now? Um, Homo would be a good switch in, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna go for another Leaf Blade, it's not that bad. Honestly, a Snarl, a Snarl doesn't hurt here. Oh, a Snarl's pretty good. I'm assuming they didn't bring Ninetales in, they probably would have brought it in already if that was the case. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but you know. Or, uh, but by not bringing that doesn't mean they didn't bring it to this game. They are terroring here. Probably the bundle, realistically. Yeah, okay. Wait, oh, yeah, terror fire? Yeah, uh, ground. Wait, what? <laughs> not really sure what that does. Um, oh, it's terror blast. Uh oh. <laughs> terror blast, hydro pump. Okay, so they're stopping the protect and they're going for terror blast. So that was a good terror choice on their part. So it's probably just gonna take me out right there. I don't see a little living this. Um, it's right in that block key. Okay, this goes straight down. Okay. That's bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about it. That's pretty awful. <laughs> um, especially because they terrored too, so now they're not actually weak to that. That sucks. That sucks a lot, actually. Wow. Um, what do we do now? I don't even know. <laughs> are they still at speed? Um... I can just click an ice move and kill an Emerus instantly, pretty much. They have to cover Blizzard, though, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they have to click Blizzard, which is something we have to consider now. Whenever they go for something like that, they always have to go for Blizzard, which is good to hear. Good to hear. Um, the problem is they can't really switch into Freeze Dry here, which is a problem. I'm not gonna lie. But with the special attack drop, I think we can get away with it. Kind of. <laughs> Huge kind of, I'll be real. We could also try to lock them into freeze dry or something. Ah, but I can't really get away with that right now. Let's go for another snarl. The only other choice I can go for is a pretty hard read with going into an Amaris with Vulpix. Which wouldn't have been that bad. It's actually probably what the play should have been, but. Okay, we kind of read the protect. Kind of, kind of, kind of. They're probably T waving the. Take a top. Or the, um, this guy again, Bersquita. That sucks. And my team is pretty weak to like, like e wave or or just status spam in general. It's pretty weak to it. I'm not gonna lie. We a little bit of chip on this thing. Doesn't really matter. So we're probably just getting to wave here. Did we dodge that? Oh, we did. That's super good. That's insanely good, actually. Wow. Huh. So they can't go for protect here, really. Um, so funnily enough, we can kind of just go for the play that I was gonna go for originally, which is flip turn again. But we're gonna switch out Vulpix now into an Amor, so we can freely bring Vulpix back in safely. They're probably going to go for a switch here or something. I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll find out, I guess. And it's a really awkward interaction right here. I probably didn't bring the best mons for the first game, especially because I went down so quickly with my first. Yeah, Logan is so frail. <laughs> if it can get hits off, it's pretty damn strong, but yeah. That's a lot of trouble against stuff like Terra. Okay, we read that. We read that pretty well, actually. That's pretty nice. How much are you doing here? Like a little bit under half. Um, after um, rain or sun ends, that'll be fine. Which I think we still have a turn or two left. I think it's two turns. 
Including this one, question mark? I have to check, I think, yeah. The two wave comes out into the slot. That does not matter at all, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that matters even a little bit. So that was a pretty good turn. Yeah, that, that helped a lot, actually. Um, it was the last turn, actually. It's okay. We can honestly go for something like this. And just terrible ass, maybe? We can even go for Mystical Fire into this slot and just try to take this thing out right now. It's not a bad call at all, actually, because I really need this thing to go now. Because I can't, I can't touch it. Otherwise, like I, I literally can't do anything against it. <laughs> okay, we read, we read the protect, and we just kill this thing straight up. Like if it lives, it is like max, max, and should not. Oh my goodness, it didn't even take a little bit from that. It's definitely evil, like, obviously, but wow, that's insane! A little bit in there. I'm actually flabbergasted at a little damage it did. Wow. I guess 65 HP. That makes sense with Evil. Like, that's pretty good, actually, huh? I figured with sunlight though, I figured it would at least do something, but wow. I was helping hand boost it in the sun, that's crazy. I think we try to on- I think we under speed though is the problem, yeah we definitely under speed now. I'm gonna go into Bear Scooter right now. And I'm gonna go for a protect I guess. We could even go for Dazzling, it probably would take out the bundle at least. They'd have to double target to take us out here. Take an Amorous out specifically I think. Cause they're snarled right now. We have to get an opportunity for Bear Scooter to get in, and I don't want it to get paralyzed because else we'll lose instantly. <laughs> so I kind of have to make this read here. If they call it, they call it. It's as really simple as that. <laughs> what do we got? Problem is protect the reads now, but um, we'll see, I guess, because they protected the last turn. Helping hand, oh Christ, okay. I was going for an Amherst to take it out, so. It's not great, obviously, but what are you going to do about it, right? Okay, so they read into this slot. They were just going for this. It's probably just going to kill me, I'm not going to lie. This Iron Bundle. I think that was insanely good. The Dazzling Gleam comes out and we take out at least one of them. And then another Dazzling Gleam should take out the Tink Tough right now. So that was a huge shift in momentum. We're obviously still really, really, really down, but... We at least have a chance now. Because <laughs> now they have to switch Tink Tough out if they want to get a chance to um, fake out again. And it really can't do anything else because it goes down to every hit I go for, so we'll see how it goes here. What do they have in the back? If it's something like Como, we're in a pretty damn good spot because they've used Terra already, they have to click Protect or something. Yeah, seriously, this is a really good spot if that's the case. Okay. If it's Cool Fable, we're pretty much screwed, I think. <laughs> Star Raptor, interesting, okay. So we get a free. Anything's here. We get a boost, but it doesn't matter. This is my fault. I shouldn't have ran Cover Cloak on this thing. That's totally my fault there, though. I think we just go for the damage and stir after you. <sighs> but I can't really do anything against it now. Yeah, this endgame's so awkward. It's actually ridiculous. I think I just go for protect. We uh, can I go for protect though, realistically? I think. Because the, <laughs> this is the crazy read, I think because they were thinking so long, I think they don't have quick attack for Barracuda. So I'm gonna make this play here. This is a very risky play that gets shut down completely if they have quick attack. It's just over, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see, really. We'll see. Perfect protect. We don't get paralyzed. That's really nice. Let's see. They have faint, I forgot about that. Okay, that's bad, actually. That's really bad. We're probably just going down, actually. I'm surprised they didn't um, faint into the um, Rescuta, but I guess it's like, fair enough that they want to take this thing out right now. I get it. That makes, that makes me think they definitely have Gomo on the back, if that's the case. <laughs> Not that I can really do anything about it if they do at this point, yeah. Hmm. What a weird game, I gotta say it. <laughs> That paralysis is brutal. We go for the Bray Bridge, it probably takes me out instantly. Yeah, we go down. Fair enough. Okay, it's kind of been over for a while. Like, as soon as they. Yeah, I realized I had like a very, very, very slight chance before, but now it's pretty much over, yeah. Because <laughs> I can't even take out whatever comes in now. Like, I, probably not, at least. Mosquito, what do they bring in the back? That's actually pretty important right now. What do they bring in the back? Nine Tails. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I'm curious why they were waiting so long to bring this in. I feel like it was a pretty free choice for a lot of it. Um, I mean, I go for helping hand, I guess. Like, I don't know what else to do here. <laughs> a lot would have to go right here. 
which I don't think is physically possible. <laughs> Let's see how much it does with helping in. Let's see how much it does to this thing. Because we're not intimidated, which at least. It, it really doesn't matter. Like, it's over, but I just want to see the numbers on this. Go for helping hand. We go for... Let's see if they protect you. They could have protect. I probably just could have brave bird again. <laughs> Anyways, we know the Tinker Duck has Faint, Fake Out, and, and T-Wave. They probably have Clear Rough as well. I'm assuming a bit, but I'm assuming they protect. Or, sorry, Clear Rough. I don't think they click Protect ever. I don't remember seeing that, so... Okay, Baby Dollars. That makes sense. I almost... <laughs> I almost heard Baby Dollars and Vulpix, but it wasn't really that good of a matchup for it. That did a lot, actually. I'm surprised. Considering I'm basically intimidated, that did a lot more than I expected, but okay. Yeah, we went down here. It's pretty much over. It's been over. <laughs> They're probably not going to reveal if they have a reveal or anything. They'll probably just click Baby Doll Eyes again. That's what I would do, just to play it safe, not let them know anything. That's a weird matchup, though. Brave Bird comes out. I'd probably just go down, though. Yeah, we just die. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Considering. Literally nothing lived. And we never got a chance to confirm speed tiers. I'm going to assume it's choice banded for now. That would make sense to me at least. Um I mean it's strong, there's really no denying that. Yeah, probably some like double edge close combat. Brave bird. They're most likely not running or quick attack because they would have used it if they had a chance, so they're probably running U-turn the last slot. Um but yeah, uh, game two. We'll see how this goes. Let me switch this up, really. Would packs would have would packs have been the answer there? I'm I'm leaning towards no. Yeah, I'm leaning towards no pretty hard. Because they've got especially because they have terrible last ground. That sucks. That's awful. <laughs> the thing is, I kind of feel like I have to bring an armor so I don't get wiped by this damn Como. I think we do a pretty similar lead. It is kind of awkward, but I think we do a pretty similar lead. Brescuta is very nice on this matchup in some ways, but not really what I'm looking for. So I think Iron Moth is the answer here. I guess we'll find out. It's kind of kind of the gist here. We'll see what happens. Do we want to lead Iron Moth? That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad call at all, because we can easily switch it out. Obviously it was booster energy, but it only matters in like one particular matchup, which is against this. Uh, Iron Bundle, which doesn't matter really, because it has that uh, boost energy, so... Do we bring Skewda? Do we bring an Amorous? I think we just bring an Amorous, yeah. Yeah, okay. Is there really going to have one setup super, really, which is the um, Boom Burst spammer? <laughs> I mean, it does have to be Boom Burst, to be fair, but I'm assuming it's something like that, at least. Yeah, something like Clang or Soul, Clang Skills, Boom Burst, and then either Aura Sphere or like CC. Because it's going to be kind of mixed anyways. This is how it stats but it works out. But uh, we'll see, I guess. It's pretty much where I'm at. Grand Bundle and this thing. Okay. Not the worst lead in the world, but not good, I would say. Um, it was kind of an awkward matchup now. Do they read the Terra Ground, or do they read the Terra from the Iron Moth, is the question. <laughs> That's really all there is to it, like... I think I know my play, but... Doesn't mean it's necessarily a good play, it's just my play, currently. Because basically, if they Hydro into the Iron Moth, it's like really, really bad. <laughs> they have to land Hydro from too, to be fair. And then that means they... Are assuming that I'm not going to be using Logan for what it's for. I'm gonna protect Sludge Wave. Do I Terra? I'm not gonna Terra. Alright, let's do it. This is probably a misplay, but I do something weird. <laughs> Logan has to protect. No Terra coming out from either side, so they're probably just Hydro Pumping in the armor. Follow me, okay. What do we got? Are they just doing it? Oh, thank goodness, okay. That's not bad at all, that's not bad at all. 
They do have icy one, that's interesting. Real protect, that means they don't have water step? Oh, that's confirmed. They don't have water step, okay. Huh. Cool. <laughs> Definitely don't mind there. That's really good info to have, I'll be honest. How much did that do to the fable? I didn't see. Didn't look like it was that much yet. It wasn't a lot, but it did take damage, so it's probably unaware. Actually, did it? Hold on. Did it take damage? Okay, it's definitely unaware. <laughs> that poison was huge, actually. That was enormous, yeah. So now we're actually confirmed that it's not that, so we can honestly go and do Vulpix or Enamorous here, whatever I want to do. Hmm. Because Lola doesn't really need speed yet. And Iron Moth gets, gets, just gets stronger from having Sun, pretty much. I'm not sure, though. Um, do I want to get momentum? I think I do. But I don't want to take that hit, so I'm going to go into Vulpix here. Yeah, okay. This is my play. Because this is such an easy play, really, overall. Obviously, we're taking damage here from the Sludge Wave, I know that, but... Other than that, it's a pretty easy play. <laughs> Because nothing really wants to take a sludge wave on their team. Um, so it's probably a switch. If anything, from the clay which I don't think they did, so we'll see. Well, as simple as that, we'll see what happens here. Protect comes out. Okay, that makes sense. What do we got? <laughs> Go follow me again. That's interesting. I'm curious why they went for that. Yeah, actually, I don't know why they went for that at all. Were oh, they watching for, like, faint Lulligan? I don't even know if they get faint. I probably should know that, to be honest, but... If that thing goes down, we take a lot from the Vulpix, but honestly, it wasn't as much as I was expecting. Um, let me see what we're looking at. Like, I actually gotta see if it's faint. It doesn't. Okay, I didn't think it did, but... Yeah, that's pretty scary if it did. <laughs> Sadly, it does not, but here we are. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. So, if sun's up, we have more turns of it, but... Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> This thing coming in is not great. Do we Terra here, is the question. That's really the question of the day. Do we Terra with the Iron Moth? Because the bundle could go on a Blaze of Glory here. I'm not gonna lie, it could do that. That could work. They're probably getting Veil up, realistically. Um, we could even click Encore with this thing. That sounds fire as heck, actually. Because we know they don't have a... They'd have to commit Terra for this, so I'm going to go for that. Psychic? Why is it Psychic? What? That's supposed to be Protect. Alright, we're clicking... Fire Dance and Nair Metal Slot. This is a misplay on my part. I thought it was Protect the whole time. Did we read the Protect, actually? What? Hello? What? So not Terra, and that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, yeah. Okay, that was a pretty good turn of events overall. Um... Sorry, I was shifting my chair, but it was really loud, actually. <laughs> Grow Fire Dance, take out the bundle for free. Hopefully we get a boost here, but I'm not worried about it if we don't. It looks like we did not, but it's fine. I wasn't expecting anything, really. Okay, so we know they know I have Encore now, which is not great. Which means they're going to be a bit more wary about what they're going for, but it's alright. Um, we'll see how this turn goes. What do they have in the back? Coma. Okay, that makes sense. Is this what the psychic was for? I think this is what the psychic was for. <laughs> I'm down to click it, to be honest with you. That sounds pretty good. It's too tantalizing not to go for. If they Terra, they Terra, but... They have to assume I'm dazzling, which isn't... What if they Terra Steel for the Dazzling Gleam on Iron Moth? I think I have to go for this. That'd be so fire if I got it, though. It's, like, not realistic, but I want to see it so bad. I gotta go for it. It's too good not to. No, nope, nothing. <laughs> That's just a stupid play. I couldn't help myself, though. <laughs> Here for the Blizzard. It does kind of nothing, actually, I'm gonna be honest. Here for another Fire Dance. I'm curious what the combo is going for. Probably just the Clanger Soul, if anything. Get the special attack boost, but it's a little late. I'm not gonna lie. The stopping tantrum, okay, it's fun. Ah, okay. I'm not mad about that, actually. I mean, it'd be nice if that didn't happen, but that completely changes what their set is. Probably Dragon Dance, if anything. I'm pretty sure it doesn't Dragon Dance. Yeah, it does. Okay. 
That's fun to know, at least. Um, this got really awkward, because we're not faster than the um, that thing. <laughs> we actually have to Terra Steel here, which they know. So that means we can't Terra Steel here. <laughs> Lug comes out. They can actually pincer me really hard, which is why I'm just gonna click protect, I think, but. Or. <laughs> I go for a crazy read and lose instantly. <laughs> it's really stupid, don't do that. If they click Blizzard again, I'm taking a lot on an Amorous, but I kinda have to. It's probably Rock Slide on um, FOMO. I wouldn't be surprised about that. It's probably Dragon Ball last slot. Or just even a fighting move, that makes sense as well. Plus combat or something like that. Yeah, it could just be like an offensive, like bulky offense set on Kamal. Like physical specifically. Huh. Yeah, I guess overcoat wouldn't really matter when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, it's not gonna take snow damage, obviously. Um, let's see how this goes, really. Over protect. Okay, I'm glad we read that at least. What are they going for here is the question. Like fire punch or something weird like that. Or like ice punch, yeah, that would work too. Drain punch, okay. It's actually a pretty good turn, yeah. Okay, so it is like more of a physically bulky. Maybe it's like bulk up? Let me get bulk up. Huh. What a weird turn of events all of a sudden. <laughs> Can't really tear flying because I'm still gonna be weak to it. But I'm kinda down to just go for a dazzling gleam here. I'm just gonna go for a dozen gleam here. Alright, let's just see it. Screw it. Honestly, screw it. <laughs> I don't think an Amorous goes down to a blizzard. I really don't think it does. I mean, Ninetales isn't weak, but it's not that strong either. Here comes the Terra from this thing, finally. Probably just Terra Steel. Terra Poison. Okay, that also makes sense, yeah. It was one of those two, pretty much. <laughs> For Blizzard, they miss on Enamorous. That is enormous, actually. Jesus Christ, that's huge. I mean, that's why I went for it, you know what I mean? Alright, how much are we taking for Chroma? Are we just dying? Like, I don't even know what's going for. Poison Jab, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm, losing, I'm, I'm really folding to Poison Jab stuff lately, I'm noticing. <laughs> really specifically that, though. Kind of annoying how specific it is, but I think this is probably it. I don't really have anything to break through the Como, realistically. Yeah, not really. Even if I tear here, which they're probably just gonna read. Kinda have to assume they don't read this. That's kinda all I can do, actually. <laughs> or I can protect Encore it into something silly. I mean, that's all I can do, really. <laughs> it's not realistic, but it would be funny. <laughs> They could just start going for bulk up here, even though it makes sense. Actually, they're probably overcoat specifically, but not that it matters at this point, but just I'm thinking out loud, like it's probably overcoat. Alright, what do we got? Baby doll eyes, that makes sense. Yeah, I just want to give this thing's damage as soon as possible, fair enough. And the Stommy Tanzer comes out into this thing, probably just go down. Yep, okay. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. I mean it's been it for a while, I'm just like living in the past, it feels like. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so body bagged in all of these. It's really a problem. I don't know what it is. What am I doing wrong so much? <laughs> I'm misplaying every once in a while. I'm seeing those misplays, but is that it? Is that really just a couple misplays? Or are people just getting me on team building alone? I can't tell. I really can't tell, I'll be honest. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to waste time terroring here, there's like no point. Let's see what they have in the back. Oh, it's just come on, I forgot actually. <laughs> well, might as well just leave blade, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't even get close, even with a crit, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere. Oh, it was a crit, okay. Wow, that was just mean. <laughs> it's probably just max fizz bulk on come on, actually. I wouldn't be surprised by that. Because if that was a crit, like that, it's probably like max fizz bulk, yeah. Okay, yep, GG. <laughs> Hmm. 
I think that's it for me. Do I have any chance of getting top four? Um, not that I really had a chance. It was really a, a fleeting mathematical improbability that I could do anything to get maybe fourth. <laughs> and that's assuming I like 2-0 every one of my opponents and it's like, it's over, yeah. Uh, I wasn't really expecting anything going into this. Their team's pretty scary and they won a lot recently, so... No, nah, it makes sense, yeah. Yeah, the prep was really hard. They played super well. Can't be too mad about it, really. Um, yeah, fair enough. I'm glad I at least got him on a couple things. Like, not running a water move is really funny on Iron Bundle. That's hilarious. Yeah, I really didn't expect that. Like, it kind of makes sense in some ways. But I never would have figured that out unless I went for that read with the sludge, sludge wave. Like, if I hadn't gone for that, I was, like, probably screwed from the beginning of the game, too. Well, you know, it worked out um, in their favor in the end, but yeah, that'll be it. Um, G's to electric again, and uh, have a nice day, everybody.